Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and a question that I get quite often on my Tech It 2 Let's Play series is, Hey Reese, how do you install the texture pack? Because like any good Teketeer, I am... Teketeer. That works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Like any good Teketeer, I am using BD Craft along with the patch that adds the textures for all of the modded items. It's really easy to install all this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. It does not matter whether you are using the Prism launcher or the actual Technic launcher. Doesn't matter if you're on Linux or Mac or Windows. This is really straightforward. These instructions will apply across the board. It's gonna be real easy. So step one is to follow the link in the description of this video, link number one, and that's going to take you to the BDCraft website where you can download the base pack. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you select MC 1.12 or 1.12, and then you're gonna to have to pick whether or not you want to use 32, 64, or 128. Personally, I recommend going to 128 and seeing if your computer can run it, and if not, start going down from there. Keep stepping it down. As you can see, it's just, it's a matter of fidelity, really. This is what it looks like at 32, at 64, at 128. Now, you could go to 512. There's absolutely nothing stopping you. But the reason that I say to stop at 128 is because the patch only goes up to 128. So this will be the second link in the description. All right, and as you can see, you can go 128, 64, or 32. So again, I recommend starting at 128, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Back in the first link, you're going to select Minecraft 1.12, select 128, and then you're going to click the button here that says download. Do you want to download with an ad or with support? So I chose with an ad, and it'll take you to this screen. We will accept the terms of use, and then you just wait. Now I'm using an ad blocker for the purpose of this video. Normally your screen will be full of ads and some of them might say download. Don't click those. Wait till you get to this point right here where it looks just like this and click this download button only. And that'll start downloading the base BD craft texture. Now we wanna to go to link number two, which is the patch. Select whichever version you decided to go with, 32, 64, 128. Again, I recommend starting with 128. We're gonna select that and it's going to begin that download as well. And there it is, so they're both being downloaded. Now by default, things should download to your downloads folder, but if you can't find them for whatever reason, regardless of what browser you're using, Safari, Firefox, some Google nonsense, you should be able to see on the screen the download taking place, and there should be a magnifying glass, and clicking that will take you to the folder where the files are located. In this case, they did go to my downloads, so I've got them right here. I've got the base BD craft and the tech it patch, so we're gonna hold on to those for just a moment. But what you need to do is go ahead and open up tech it 2, go to options, resources pack, and then open resource pack folder. Click on that, and that'll open up a separate window where again, we're gonna have our downloads. We're gonna drag the base file and we're going to drag the Tekkit file into there. Now we're pretty much done so we can close these windows. Nothing's changed in Minecraft yet, so we have to hit done and then wait a while sometimes. There we go. So after that, click resource packs and oh, look at that. There's our available resource packs. So we wanna add both of these and we're not going to get rid of Matt default because that's the Matmos sound pack and we wanna keep that in there. We're just gonna add these in on top. So we're gonna add pure BD first and then the tech it patch. It doesn't really matter what order you put those in, but in my experience, sometimes there will be textures in the patch that are different than in the base BD craft. I just hit my mic, is everything okay? Are we good? My bad. Because Minecraft looks at this folder linearly starting at the top, it'll select whatever textures are in here and then whatever ones are missing, it'll go to the next one. That's exactly what we want it to do. We want it to use the Tekkit patch first, and then for all of the vanilla items that aren't present, it'll go down and use the BD craft default, and then Matmos, and then regular old Minecraft. So now that we've done that, this is the waiting game. You're gonna hit done. And if you thought it took a while before, trust me, this'll take much longer. I have a pretty decently powerful PC that it takes a long time on. This is a Mac. It takes a long time on it. It's just this universal constant. Applying textures takes a while. It might even look like your game is frozen. Don't try to close it now. You might mess something up. What I recommend is go and get yourself a cup of coffee, maybe a hot chocolate, you know, winter's here. Do something to pass the time and just be patient. Oh, okay, it's done. There we are. So hit done and we're not out of the woods yet. The next thing we need to do is actually leave the game. And that's because in Tekkit 2, there's a bug where some of the patch textures won't take effect until you've closed the pack 
and reopened it. So we're going to hit quit game and then relaunch. It's a lot of waiting in this process, waiting for the textures to download, waiting for them to apply, waiting for Minecraft to restart. It's a long, long waiting game. And at long last, the game has finally launched and we can go in, we can create a world, we'll call it New World. We'll make it creative so that we can spawn some stuff in and see how all of the textures look. All right, we are into a world and it's running a little bit sluggish, probably because I'm running it on a Mac with OBS also running, but it looks pretty fantastic. We've got all of the BD craft textures and I did notice that right over here, We've got ourselves a village, and that's bound to have a lot of the, yeah, textures on display. And then, of course, all of our modded items will have textures. So if you wanted to look up, you know, the quarry fixer, the quarry, those are going to be modded. If you want to look at, you know, the armor, like the nano armor, it's going to have the modded textures and everything. I mean, we could just cycle through all of these different pages and you can see all of the items with their textures applied. So as you can see, this is really actually quite easy and hopefully you're able to get it running at home. Now, if you have some performance problems, before you just automatically go down to the next uh, lower tier, so before you go from 128 to 64 to 32, consider trying to give your mod pack a bit more memory, a bit more RAM, and see if that helps out. I think a minimum of four gigabytes should do it. Maybe go to eight if you can, if you have that much memory to spare, but memory goes a long way with getting these bigger resource packs to run well. So that's something to keep an eye out on. Until next time, though, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!